What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone. We are here at the base. I just done some crop pickings and done a little bit of work around here. Not much. Uh, but we've got our crops are growing. We've got our mana a mana in. We got our smeltery a smelter in. We've got our cows a cowing over there. So I think for today we might just go ahead and work on our twilight forest. Um, one thing I forgot to show you all last episode, as you can see our windmill there, I have upgraded it to the next tier. And then the um, energy cell that's on top of it is actually a uh, resonant energy cell. Now, this thing's taken forever to fill up because we're not pumping a whole lot of power into it. But as you can see, it holds 80 million RF. Uh, and I've had it up here for, I don't know, about four days just pumping and pumping and pumping and it's not filled up yet but we're saving that for uh, when we get ready to you know need it for something else than what we're using uh, I don't have use for a whole lot of power right now most everything that I have here has enough power going on uh, we've got enough power uh, running our quarry um, so with that I do believe I think I have everything I need for our, oh, 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 we're stuck, we're stuck, we're stuck. I hate that door sometimes. I think it's about time to tear this house down and build something new. We've got another cow spawn over there. I'm just going to leave him be for now. I don't know exactly what he is, but uh, it looks like, yep, our sand has finished. So we might, I probably will wind up doing another round of, uh, cobblestone in there have we nope we are almost to our sex tuple and able to make the next compacting drawer for that um, so for now let us get on with our uh, twilight forest entrance now we stopped at the maze entrance which is where we are going to start at. And I should have. Go back. Let's go back. I forgot to. Uh, forgot to make some torches to bring with me. Because we're going to need some torches for all this. So let us get some wood. Let us get us. Not a piece of coal. Let's get a stack of coal. I got two stacks of coal. Alright, so there's that. You know what? I don't think we had to come back here. I think I've actually got the stuff in here. Uh, no, I took coal out. Put some coal in there. So we'll have that with us while we go. That way, if we run out of torches while we are there, we can make us some more. So, I've realized that this uh, speed belt actually has step assist with it, and it has a uh, jump boost with it. So, it makes just kind of walking around getting a little bit easier. Not that it matters, because like I said, we can fly. So, Alright, let's head back into here. Now, hopefully, this doesn't go too bad. Uh, these things have a tendency of being full of traps, full of mobs, as you can see right there. Oh, spiders. We ain't gonna make it very far and get mobs all over the place. So I need to... I hear spiders. Now these walls are unbreakable with regular... Uh, oh, let's see how good our axe does on this. Or, or not an axe, our sword. Got a creeper here. Uh, you cannot break these walls with just a regular pickaxe. So we don't have to can't cheat through. We have to do this the hard way. Oh, I don't want that. I want torches. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 
Oh, so I have got us to the point of having uh, an extra set of 10 hearts now. So hopefully that will help us along the way. So basically the point of this is we've got to find the center of this level and then there is another level after it. And in the center of this map, at the second level, there is a uh, one of those minotaurs, a big one. Looks like I've already been that way. Now you can make a map. And hopefully we can find the stuff to make a map. Oh, where did he come from? Oh, lordy. All right. This place is quite evil. Let's see, torch down. I seen something coming around the corner. Oh, nope, didn't. So let us put that up. We're going to need our pickaxe here for a second. All right. got away from any mob sounds. I think that was where we just were. I see something. I know I just seen something go around that corner. Whatever it was, must have been moving pretty quick. Oh, we got these slimes up here. Spiders. I hate spiders. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I wish there was a mod that just took spiders completely out of the game. Alright. I hear more spiders. Oh, there they are. Good thing our armor doesn't take too much of a beating while we're doing this. Oh, these guys just fall from the ceiling at you. All right. So we are going inside here should be what we need to. Wait, let me make sure I got a spot in my inventory because these chests, as soon as you open them, you got to get what you need out of it and be done with it because they will blow up. Or at least some of them will. Alright, so we have the maze wafer. Now, I'm not sh exactly for sure if that's... Let's see what we got here. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe it's just a form of food. Might have to look that up. Uh, where, what did I have in my inventory there? Oh, I had uh, torches. I need torches. Alright, so let us continue on here. There is another chest right there, and this is pretty well blocked off. So let us. Light that up. Let us see what is in this one. 
nothing. And this side just ends in a dead end. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't find the center of this level. And then I am going, then I will bring you back before we drop into the next level. So I will be right back. All right, if you all find yourselves in one of these here mazes, I still have yet... Whoa. I have no idea what just blew up. Uh, but they have these rooms in certain parts of the mazes to help refill your torches. So I figured I'd show you all that right quick. Now let's go see if we can figure out what that big explosion was. Uh, looks like it was this room right here. Maybe. Uh, yeah. Because there it is. So let us go see what is here. Torch this up a little bit. So you can see we're at bedrock level and that... This maze actually goes below. Oh, 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 oh. The maze actually goes below the bedrock. Um, oh, there it is one of those. I heard a spider. All right, so I'm going to keep looking here and see if we can't find the center of this maze. Oh, we are back. I think I just found it. Get these guys taken care of here. Light this up. Alright, yes, this is it. So I am going to set this to here. And I am going to run back home and empty out my inventory because we've already filled up our inventory. And when I get done doing that, I will bring you guys back here. Alright, we are back here at the maze. And we are headed down to the bottom level. And, oh... Lord, there's a bunch of stuff down here waiting for me. Alright, so this level is a little bit, um, it's exactly the same as the first level, but there is, I mean, they make it a little bit harder. There's more mobs, um, and we've got to find the boss for this one, and he is a great big minotaur. And there's another one of those torch rooms. We just run around in a circle. Went that way, so let's go this way. Then that way, let's go this way. That can't be good, there's a big spot blew up. So I think I'm going to just go ahead and cut here. We're going. To, I'm going to run around, try to find the middle of the map, um, and then I will bring you guys back when I get there. Oh, we have found him. There he is. So we should be able to just break out a center of this, and we should be able to just shoot him like that right there. Whoa, 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 what happened? I guess those little things can pick you up. Let's light this thing up right quick. 
There's some iron in here. I did go and look up these. This is just a food source here in the maze. Uh, there's the mad. See, we could use that through all this. I will show you all how that works. Um, we don't need any of that stuff. Let me make a crafting table here right quick. Whoops. I didn't grab enough. Alright, so crafting table. Four of these. There's that. And if I'm not mistaken, you can just surround with that and it will give you a map. And if you look at the map, as you go around, it will uh, show you the map and the areas that you've been to in the map. Now, it is kind of hard to read it as you go along, but it does help you find rooms and at least will show you what part of the map you have been to and what part of the map that you have not been to. So with that, let us look at our achievements here. We have done that one so now we need to go fight the Hydra so we are going to head back to the Twilight entrance here which is right here let us get up in the air so nothing will get us because there seems to be some stuff that spawns pretty close to here um, let us bring up our other map which I believe I have in here yes and let's see if there is a Hydra anywhere. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe it is in that brown spot, not far from where we just were off that way right there. So let us head in this direction. Now this, they live in a fire swamp. And when you, if you have not, completed the maze when you go to the fire swamp it will as soon as you get into that area it will light you on fire yep that is it right there usually on one side of this big hill is where the hydra is come on load it up for me Oh, yeah, here we go. So let us move in here. There it is. So I'm not 100% sure how to... I think you've got to shoot whatever head is firing at you. Come on, do something. Oh wait, maybe we need to shoot the uh, fireballs back. Just try hitting them back here, see what happens. We got plenty of life here. Oh, we can just walk up here. That's loud. Now this thing has five heads. Stuck inside of it. Come on, we got one more hit on this thing. There we go. And it is dead. 
Not sure why I wasn't taking any damage from it. But I will not complain. So let us put this stuff up in here. I don't need this stuff. We're going to get rid of some of this stuff that we don't need. There we go. Uh, we'll keep the Hydra Chop. I'm not exactly sure what kind of food it does, but we will see. Alright, so our next bit of business here. We have killed the Hydra. Uh, that is for that. We've got that one. Uh, that will be for getting... Uh, we have to create a tools. This will be our next one. So we have to place a trophy inside of the dark forest. And we have yet to find a dark forest. Why did it bring up that map? Um... I'm wondering if we go back this way. I tell you what, I'm going to fly around a little bit, see if I can find this, and when I find the Dark Force, I will bring you guys back. Alright, we are back, and this is the Dark Forest. Now, I am probably not going to take you all with me in this, because, as you can see, there is not much to see. It is very, very dark in here. And we are trying to find probably about the middle of this. There are mobs all over the place. And I'm not exactly sure which way to go. It's kind of just one of those things where you just wander around but you don't want to stand too still. Uh... Because you will get a bunch of stuff to spawn on top of you. So I am going to go ahead and find, work my way through here, see what I can find, and then I will bring you guys back. Alright, we are back, and I think I have found what it is that we needed to find. Um, not entirely for sure, as I have never actually been here before. Uh, I tried to actually tried to just fly over it to see if I could find it and that did not work um, so but we are here now I don't know I still got plenty of torches we need to place our trophy which I think I put in here And there we go. So now our next order of business here is to I guess drop down in here and see if we can't take care of this place. And I'm not exactly sure what I'm getting into because yeah like I said I have not made it this far. So I'm going to guess we've got to find, I don't really need that, the boss room. And I would assume going down is always a good thing. Because in the Twilight Force, you can't go very far down because there's not much down. Now I don't know if this is the guy I need. I have no idea what that just was. Alright, so let us continue on here. Ooh, there's some sand. There's an anvil. 
So this is probably going to wind up being just a little bit longer of an episode than what I've been doing. Uh, there is a lot of stuff that we haven't done yet. Probably going to finish this part of it and call it there and wind up doing a third uh, part to this uh, as there's still quite a bit of stuff that we need to get done before we get to the uh, oh I didn't notice we got but it's got quite a bit of stuff before we get to where we need to be with uh, the end of this So I'm going to keep going around here until I can find the room that we need to be in. And when I do, I will bring you guys back. We have mobs in front of us. I have no idea what those mobs are. But I think we are headed the right way. There's something different on the map I hadn't seen. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. All right, we are back. I found the room. God, I've been at this for so long. And I actually, the only reason why I found it is it showed up on the little mini map. And I uh, tunneled up from where I was just at. Good God almighty. I have been in this place for ever. Uh, I'm probably running it pretty close to an hour. Uh, so we are going to head back to the house and we are going to go ahead and call this episode done. Because I'm getting a little wore out here. Let us go to sleep right quick. As you can see there, we have upgraded some of our tools. There's a lot, a lot of stuff in there. Um, nothing kind of that we, I didn't show any of you all. Um, but we have now got to that. So our next option is going to be the great big... Um, there's a great big castle on the other side of the forest. So I'm going to go ahead and call this episode here. And then we will go see about finishing the... Uh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, finishing the Twilight Forest maybe uh, in the next episode. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share all that good stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!